have a new toy. This is a uh, AC oil injector. It's a screw type, which I've never seen before. But I saw it. It was like 45 bucks. So I said, let me go get it. Uh, yeah, the oil from the top is a little cap. It screws on. Undo that. And you can turn this kind of like a torque wrench. Think of it that way as the inner and outer. The screws. And you uh, pretty much fill it to what you want. You know, quarter's going to be up here. Half an ounce over there. We're going to try to squeeze in half an ounce of oil. Probably more leaked out of this car. It's a bad compressor it has. And a low side port. You can put it in there when the system is charged, I believe. But we're going to see what happens. We have a little pack 150 oil. I'm going to put it in there. And try to put it in there. Okay, we hooked it up. Apparently now we just have to turn this device and the oil in here is going to go in there. We'll see what happens. Alright, as you see, we're run down. This thing gets warm. It's very, very difficult to turn this with both hands. Some people say, oh, I need pliers to operate with this, so we have views and everything. I didn't need pliers. Maybe I'm just uh, a little stronger than them. Bunch of weaklings. Uh, yeah, so we got that done. Oil. I actually put three quarters of an ounce in. This thing did leak a lot, but now I know it's at least some oil in the system. It should be eight ounces total of compressor oil. So we add a little bit, and uh, yeah, that's good. You should always add oil to your system, especially if it leaked out once and I recharged it with cans. Stickers falling off. Lee Power Steering, California, good company. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Let's go open this thing up, see what's inside of it. Now, I'm gonna open some here. When I first got this, I was like trying to remove it from here. Then I figured out open over there. The directions are very, very vague on this. This was made by FJC, I think. Um, leave the company's name, we'll say it this time. And you can change that, um, that fitting too. That's for a uh, R134A. Low side. But you can put an R12 fitting on there if you still have an R12 system. Because uh, the machine, I kind of want to get. I don't know why, how I'm going to fit it. I don't think it's going to fit over here. It might fit in this horde pile if I get rid of all this shit. But, uh, yeah, it does not have an oil injector. The one with the oil injector is like a thousand more dollars. I'm not going for that for Condo Garage. I want one that recovers. I want one that vacuums. And I want one that charges. Leak test doesn't do that either. A machine I used to use at work at for that car, the black version, I had a leak test and oil injection. It was an older unit. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the oil injector, and I believe we injected oil into our system. Supposedly some one-way valve in here and shit, so refrigerant can't get back in there. I don't know. But let's take this off. I'm curious how much oil is left. And as you see, the oil that we put in the system, where'd it go? Must have went in somewhere. Maybe it all got caught in that hose from there to there to there. Yep, pretty neat. I kind of like this thing. I wonder how it's going to hold up. I can see this hose kind of breaking. You should probably just undo that every time so you don't have weight on it as you're screwing it on. But, you have three quarters of an ounce in there. I wonder if I should put a full ounce. I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think more than an ounce leaked out. It does leave like a size drop about that much though every time. It, sits. Well, at least there's something in there. I wonder if the compressor would be any quieter.